We're joined now by Dr. Shi Chen. He's an assistant professor at Yale School of Medicine in New Haven, Connecticut. Thanks so much for joining us. The Journal of the American Medical Association out with a with uh, uh, they're out with a recent article that looks at children, and it seems like they're not really being impacted as severely as other age groups. Any theories as to why? Yeah, this is a really uh, encouraging news. I think there are, uh, according to the scientific evidence so far, there are at least uh, three main reasons. One is the immune system. Children's immune system function differently, uh, differently than the adults. For example, they have a strong innate uh, immune system. The in innate immune system is uh, the cells in that system can respond immediately to the foreign invaders, which is uh, called on upon to to fight against the, this virus or pathogen. But, uh, but the, uh, the other adaptive uh, immune system may be slower because they need to take time to recognize the threats and uh, act. They are not joining the battle immediately. But this time the virus, uh, and also for MERS and for, uh, for other kind of uh, measles and diseases, uh, uh, the innate immune system is more important. So that's why the children are respond more quickly to fight against this virus. And secondly, I think uh, it's about their health conditions. As we know, more people die uh, who are adults or older persons, they have uh, multiple chronic conditions. But this is less prevalent in children, so they are le less likely to have like health complications as a result of the multiple health conditions. And also, and thirdly, children also have a better, re a healthier uh, respiratory tract because they are usually less exposed to smoke or air pollution. So this may help them to shield against uh, a virus. But that said, the children still being contract the virus. It's just because they have a, a milder symptoms or they can recover more easily. But we still need to pay more attention when, uh, to get them tested and uh, get them treated uh, timely. And as you know, viruses can mutate and change so quickly. Is there a threat that this is kind of early on uh, that, that children could be uh, impacted later on? Yeah, that's a, a great concern uh, because the children, are, there are more undiagnosed cases for children. They have milder symptoms, but that take a longer time to affect the children, especially the, the immune system for children is only stronger for the innate. Uh, immune system, but the other part of the immune system actually is weaker for children. So if the pathogen affect the children for longer time, then they will be very vulnerable to this type of virus. Uh, but the encouraging news is that uh, throughout all this uh, SARS, MERS, uh, measles, or seasonal flus, children are less likely to be having uh, severe symptoms. Those are the scientific uh, findings so far. And we only have about 20 seconds or so. Uh, at what ages are most at risk, would you say? Yeah, so it's more like uh, the infants. Uh, I, I mean, uh, overall, it's older persons. But if we talk about children, it's more infants or in utero period, it's more vulnerable. But once they are above like age three or four, they have their own immune system, which function better, so they are less likely compared to the even uh, uh, younger children. Shi Chen, always a pleasure talking to you. Thanks so much for your insights.